friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're gonna learn about structure of flower here i have with me is petunia flower petunia is an ornamental plant with very beautiful colored flowers here it is a petunia flower having trumpet shaped so you can easily identify petunia by seeing their trumpet shaped um, flowers these are sepals. Sepal enclose flower in bud condition. You can see here clearly. Sepals collectively are called as calyx. And these are petals. Petals collectively are called as corolla. Petals are usually brightly colored, beautiful. They are they are having beautiful scent to attract insects for pollination. And ca uh, petals collectively are called as um, corolla. Now you're gonna cut this flower longitudinally in order to see what is present inside the flower. So I have a scissor and this scissor will be used to cut this flower longitudinally. Usually I don't like plucking flowers from the garden. I think so they look beautiful in the garden, not inside the home, inside vases. But this flower I have to cut it in order to make a video in order to show you the inside of petunia flower. So it is for educational purpose. Okay, so let's cut it down. Now I'm gonna use scissor and I'm using scissor with one my with obviously with one hand because in the other hand I am holding a camera in order to record the video. So I'm gonna cut it. It's difficult to use one hand, but I'm gonna try. So, okay, wait, yes. So now we're gonna cut the flower longitudinally and see what is inside the flower. Okay. So let's see what is inside the flower. Now I have cut the flower longitudinally and now I'm gonna show you the inside of flower. You see these are the stamens, the male part of the flower. And these stamens are attached with the petals. So this condition is called apipatlas. So petunia having apipatlas flowers. Yes, now you can see here clearly the petals, um, the petals, and the stamens. Stamens are attached with the petals, and you can also see the carpel, which is basically the female part of the flower, the middle one. This is carpel, and these are the stamens, male part of the flower. Stamens collectively are called androsium and uh, carpal collectively called gynesium. Carpal is female part of the flower and stamens are male part of the flower. Okay, so I so I think now I can show you stamens properly I'm trying to zoom okay yes so now these are the stamens and this is called as the anther and the slender stalk is called as the filament so this is basically the filament filament of the stamen and these are the anthers anthers contain pollen grains so these are anthers and this is the filament so stamen consists of two parts anther and filament okay fine now you can see it clearly 
So now I'm going to show you the female part of the flower by removing these stamens so that you can see clearly the female part of the flower. It's called carpal. It has three parts. Stigma, style and ovary. Now let's examine the ovary. Ovary is present inside. So you have seen the two parts. Stigma, the style. Now let's examine the ovary. Okay, now I have cut the flower a little bit further. So in order to see the ovary, and I can see it clearly, but I don't know you guys can find it out or not. So let me show you. Now this solemn part, you can see it clearly now. This is called as the ovary. So ovary, style, and this is the stigma. Stigma, style, and this is the ovary. Yeah, now you can see. So carpal has three parts, stigma, style, and ovary, right? On stigma, pollen, grain, lands. Then by means of style, it goes into the ovary and fertilizes ovule. And that's how fertilization occurs. And you can see here, apipatless condition. See, these stamens are attached with the petals. So that's it. I hope you have learned about the dissection of flower. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks.